What are your thoughts on some of the recent WWE layoffs since we last spoke about it? Obviously, Curtis Axel, the son of Kurt Hennig and Cain Velasquez. But I guess the big the big one that was surprising was Jerry Briscoe got furloughed. What are your thoughts? Well, I, I mean, first of all, with Cain Velasquez, that's a lot of fucking balls, to be honest, because they just signed him as a as a, a a trophy fighter for the Saudi Arabia show, apparently, and to get a big name on Fox, and and I guess he wasn't panning out, but still, uh, it's it. A lot of this smacks to me of this fucking thing where, well, we we promised these people a lot of money for a long period of time six months ago, but now, just because we don't have to give it to them because the contract re- we wrote, we're not going to, even though they have done everything they're supposed to do. Gallows and Anderson, that's bullshit. We'll fight with you and argue with you and finally offer you three quarters of a million dollars a year apiece. You've got to stay here. And as soon as there's no place else to go that would continue to pay them, uh, no, we don't want you. With Gerald Briscoe, I look at it two different ways. This was not his full time work. I mean, Gerald is what now in his seventies, and it's not like he was going to the office every day. He was going on scouting trips. He's an amateur wrestler, ex amateur wrestler. He's been doing this for years. He found a lot of these guys. He knows athletes. He knows wrestling. But how, you're not literally on the road like a circus advance man going on scouting trips twenty four hours a day. So Gerald has slowed down his schedule over the last several years. You can look at it like, well, it's time for Gerald to retire anyway. But you could also look at it like, I can't fucking believe that after 35 years with the company in some form or another and being one of the guys that actually enabled Vince to buy the Atlanta office originally in 84 to begin with and being a television character as well as an agent, as well as a trusted confidant and a talent scout, they can't just pay old Gerald Briscoe's salary to tell it to stay home or say, Br- Gerald, we're going to send you half the money we've been paying you, but just don't do anything because it's, it's fuck a fucking pandemic and we don't want you out running around for the next six months, possibly getting sick. And then in six months, we'll evaluate things or something else besides, no, nah, we better, you know, <laughs> so I'm sure Jerry doesn't need the money. And I'm sure Jerry will be fine either way, but it's just, it's disrespectful, I think, if nothing else, to not come up with something else otherwise than not you're done for now until we decide to change that. Yeah, I'll admit that, and was, it, that was a surprising one. Is there still any other sport or any other entity of that financial level that is already cutting people, furloughing people, whatever that means, uh, releasing people, whatever, any other sporting team in any other sport, UFC, NFL, NBA, not that I'm M- aware M- of USC. In fact, a lot of major league baseball teams have, uh, at least through the end of May, pledged to pay their staff. You know, I mean, the longer this goes on, it's obviously things become a problem. You don't just go for the cuts right away and hope for the best, but Vince McMahon apparently thought that's the best way to do it. Uh, but of course, Vince McMahon's the only one who has to worry about shareholders. Well, but you know what? See, that, yeah, that's another thing. <laughs> they have to do all this fucking uh, public offer, publicly traded stock bullshit uh, to make themselves billionaires with the big boys, but then they have to answer to people. When it, it, My answer would be, hey, I'm not going to fucking fire people that have worked for me 35 years just to make you assholes happy. There's worldwide pandemic, and we'll fucking resume regular fucking dividends in a, a few months or whatever, rather than just, oh, got to make them happy. How about the people that built the shit? Make them a little happy. I don't know how much you would have seen of him. Any thoughts on Curtis Axel, the son of uh, Kurt Hennig? Actually, I haven't seen that much. And to be honest, there, if they haven't used him in a number of years, and from what I understand, they haven't used him in any appreciable way in a number of years, that's one of those things that it, that crosses over from rewarding a loyal employee to what do you run and make a wish, right? If it, I have a, a a lot of indignation for the guys that either have been there for decades or have gone over and above to prove their loyalty or guys who were harassed into signing with promise of big money in the last six months and then turn around and say, ah, but, but wait, 
that's a problem. When you're really cutting guys that you weren't using before this happened anyway and haven't used in a while, regardless of whether they've done everything they can do, sometimes it doesn't just work out. And that uh, I don't have a problem with that. You know, they were being charitable in those cases, uh, but they didn't really need to be, maybe.